video, I'm going to let you know about some exciting stuff happening at A Good Yarn Sarasota, a yarn shop in Florida, and a quick tutorial from A Good Yarn Sarasota. We uh, talked about uh, the Pearl Diver Exclusive Color Club a few months ago, and memberships are open again. The Pearl Diver Club is a subscription kit yarn club, and I always say it's a guaranteed way to make sure you get something good in the mail every month. Um, it's uh, uh, a yarn club with exclusively dyed yarns, and all of the, the themes for the dye is kind of an under the sea theme. I've got a kit here that I, I broke apart already. Um, I've already used it to, to knit this cowl, and I'll give you a close-up of this cowl. And this kit is dyed after the squirrel fish, or they use the squirrel fish for inspiration. And this is the yarn, and I only have this much of it left because I knit the, the cowl already. Anyway, in each kit you get uh, yarn dyed by an independent yarn dyer and a pattern. And this one came with the Over and Over Cowl by Church Mouse Yarns really great patterns. They're working with great dyers and great designers. And this cowl comes in two different sizes and it's uh, based on a stitch they found in a vintage French knitting book and it looks like little clusters of crochet stitches. And I'm going to show you a close-up of that. We're also going to cover the, um, the cast on used for this cowl because it's kind of unique. Anyway, this yarn is by Yarn Love and the colorway is called Squirrel Fish and I've already broken into mine. And also in your kit, you get an extra goodie. And this one is uh, an extra set of, or an, a set of four tapestry needles. Two of them are bent tip and two of them are straight. I've kept this together because <laughs> I wanted to try to show you this kit you know, as, as complete as possible, but I kind of can't wait to tear into these because these are exactly the kind of tapestry needles that I love. Okay, so that's a kit that's kind of, um, I've had my way with that kit. I'm going to show you what a kit looks like uh, when you first get it in the mail and how beautiful it is and how exciting it is to get this, this kind of mail. So in this one, the pattern is called Freis, F-R-A-I-S. I might be mispronouncing that. It's a hat pattern and they always print on such nice paper. I love nice paper. The yarn is by Nerd Girl Yarns and this is the color, and then I can pull out the photo that's inspiration. The photo for inspiration is a fire dart fish. You can see they did a great job matching up the, the fish and the yarn. And then the extra goodie in this one, these are both previous kits, so I'm not giving anything away for subscribers. These are previous kits. The extra goodie in this one is a set of four pom-pom makers, four different sizes for making pom-poms which is a really good choice because you can put a pom-pom on your hat when you're finished. Anyway, so that's a brand new kit and all the cool stuff. Each one comes with yarn dyed by an independent yarn dyer, um, a really great pattern, uh, the inspiration for the yarn, the photo of the sea creature, and an extra goodie. And right now, the reason that we're talking about this and the reason that I'm doing this unboxing is because Pearl Diver memberships are open, are again open right now. You can sign up for a one month or a six month membership. And if you click the little I in the upper right hand corner, that will take you to my website where I'll have information on all of this. And all of these um, pieces are individually available for sale as well, al although there is very limited quantities on the yarn since it was specially dyed for this kit. I think that's all I want to say about the kit. I think there, I love kits and I love surprises and so I think this is a fun thing to sign up for. Before we get into the cable cast on tutorial, there's one other thing I wanted to mention that's happening at A Good Yarn Sarasota. They have a retreat planned at a resort in Orlando May 18th through 21st, uh, 2017. So. I think that sounds so nice. Uh, retreat in the springtime in Orlando, Florida. <coughs> Excuse me. It's a long weekend of knitting and knitting classes. The teachers that will be there are Ann Budd, Susan B. Anderson, and Romy Hill. And if you click through to my website, I'll have a link to this and you can see all the different classes that are offered. It sounds like so much fun. The classes are all different levels. I think this would be really fun to uh, to take this trip with your best knitting friend or if you end up going, if you want to go by yourself, I promise you, you wouldn't be lonely. If there's anything I know about knitters, we all have a lot to talk about and um, 
We're fast to make friends with other knitters. Anyway, I want to give you a close-up of the over and over cowl and to show and show you the cable cast on. It's kind of a unique cast on. It's a good cast on for um, a sturdy, stretchy cast on, which is good for a cowl like this. So let's go ahead and take a look. Here is my cowl. And this is a stitch that they found in a vintage French knitting book. And you can see it really does look like little crochet clusters, like granny square clusters. And this is the cast on that we're working on. So this is a not a long tail cast on. It's a short tail cast on. Actually, I don't even know if that's what they're called, but you don't need a long tail for it. I'm going to put a slip stitch on the needle, and I'm using double pointed needles just for demonstration here. You're actually you're going to use a circular needle for the cowl. I'm going to knit into that stitch and then really stretch that stitch out, twist it, and put it up on the needle. Okay, that's the setup. Once you have two stitches on the needle, we're ready to do the cable cast on. It's a good idea to use needles with a long taper on them for this cast on. Put your needle between the two stitches, wrap it, and pull it through, and then pull it long and twist it onto the needle and tighten it up a little, but not too much. The reason you don't want to tighten it up too much is because you're going to put your needle in between those two stitches again. Wrap it and pull it through. Wrap it and pull it through. Again, pull it big, twist it and get it up on the needle and tighten it up a little. This is like the knitted cast on except for your needle is going between the two stitches. And the stitches will naturally, once you have the needle in there, you can tighten that stitch up and everything kind of naturally tightens up when you do that. That is the cable cast on. That is it. That is the cable cast on. Many thanks to A Good Yarn Sarasota for sponsoring this video. Be sure to click through to my website where I have more information on the Pearl Diver Club for one month and six month subscriptions. And I don't have the exact dates right now for how long subscriptions are open, but I know that it's limited. So be sure to click through and to learn more about the knitting retreat in Orlando, Florida coming up in May of 2017. So again, thanks to A Good Yarn Sarasota and good luck.